Ouch. Okay, heading to Salt Lake. So checked on the shop. I'm so late. I'm, I was supposed to be there already, but Ethan knows. So um, I've got all this stuff for him. And basically what we're trying to do today is map out the kitchen for the Mill Creek location. And so I've got the plans. Ouch. They're right there. And I uh, also practice some vlogging, get a whole bunch of content today. So it's gonna be a fun day. Let's just freaking go. Okay. Looks really good, man. Yeah? Oh, I mean, look up. Frick. Dude, it looks good. Oh, it looks way good. Bad structural stuff. Mm -hmm. We're here yeah. <laughs> at Mill Creek location. Ethan's walking me through. He's just done so much. He's been cleaning off all this brick, which I'll show you in a second. It looks completely different. When I was here like three days ago, took out all the drywall. He's going to be working on this area, so he's going to walk us through that. And then we're going to meet on these plans and design oh, okay. the kitchen. So this area, you're going to angle grind that out? Well, yeah, so I'm planning on just leaving this wall coming down, I think. I think that's probably what happen. So it'll literally just leave this. They'll probably just do FRP going down. Okay. Or whatever we want, I guess. Mm -hmm. So we gotta decide what's gonna be right here because kind of the bar will start here, according to Breeze plants. Like kind of that center between the door. Still like that reach in the freezer idea here. Maybe just some type of image above it. Yeah. I don't know what it would be. And then like kind of a merch wall. Mm, okay. Just keep it simple, something like that. Just like shelving on this. Yeah. Well, I think we kind of need to, we need to plan out how much space this is all gonna actually take. Like the, uh, the soda stuff. Cause that's gonna <laughs> determine what we actually have available there, right? Cause like we need to plan out how this is actually gonna look and then we'll see what we have. Cause it might be that we're like, oh crap, we need that space for, I don't know, the popcorn machine or something. Up here up at the Mill Creek store with my business partner Sierra. She's out back there doing business on the phone. Um, what she's actually doing is she's on the phone with a, I think it's a restaurant supply co. We're talking about all of the equipment, uh, the power and drainage needs that everything's gonna need. And uh, so we're getting it done. We're getting it done up here in Mill Creek. Okay, so what did we get done? We got, we got some good stuff what done. Didn't get done. What didn't we get done? Let's talk about, okay, so we, Planned out a whole bunch of things. Uh, front counter, we yeah, contacted right. who's gonna build that, probably, most of it. Uh, we researched fryers. So fryers, research ovens, got dimensions of everything, looking into drainage, power. We gotta go get dimensions of some other things. We have some assignments. Freaking ice machine. Definitely have some assignments. <laughs> ice machine's like the heart. We need to do everything quickly. That's yeah. What Ethan's thinking about. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan's thinking not on Sierra's normal timeline, so I'm Shut moving. Up. I'm moving more quickly. It's true. It's okay. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna run to 13th, grab or get ice dimensions from Rachel. I'm gonna also research other ice machines because I think there might be some better options. Uh, what else do we have to do in here? So clean it out. We contacted a woodworker. We're gonna get quotes on like the cut the furniture. Get this horrible wallpaper out, take out all the old fixtures, and then the electrician's gonna come in, move everything to where our wonderful designer really wants it. This will be all smooth. This was kind of janky, huh? We were wondering what the hell with this. Was yeah. it just messed up drywall? It must have been, I guess. All together. Oh, I'm so excited, man. This is going to be the front bar is. This is where the back, we're not even gonna have a back bar, really. It's just mm -hmm. gonna be soda machines and everything you need to make a drink here. We're ripping all this out. 
grinding it down, grinding it down even lower than this. This is, polishing it. This is, and then polishing it. A polished concrete so in the front. Freaking good. And an I epoxy am in, love with that. in the back. Mm -hmm. In fact, we need to kind of decide finalize what we're gonna do on that thing. Because so well like a couple things. That polished concrete is gonna leave holes. Like not leave holes, leave marks. Yeah. Little hole marks. But it's the floor guys keep telling me fine. I feel like we're gonna have it's gonna be fine. have an hour so I have to go get some supplies for Dottie's. I'm gonna call the Resco guy and talk to him about some stuff I guess. I need to find a new option for our I need to find an option for our ice machine. The ice machine's like the heart and soul um, and it's just the biggest piece of equipment so we have to like find where that goes then we can fit everything else in but and we have like two days to do this and I take a lot longer than Ethan so I'm gonna try to just harness my Ethan hustle and just go and just get it done because I'll feel better and he'll feel better and it will just be better so here we go Starting king cakes way earlier than I ever have. Um, so they're on the they're live on the website right now. Oh my thing's so jacked. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking heavy. It's forty dollars in sanding sugar. King cakes are fun though. Mardi Gras is like my favorite time. Um, I'll have to tell that story sometime. The whole beignets and and king cake stuff. Uh, it's just like one of my favorite parts about doing a bakery and I had no idea about it until my buddy John, he's like my baking sensei, taught me about it and taught me to make beignets and donuts. And um, it's such a huge part of our business now and part of what makes us unique. And we've done it this year more than ever. Used to do beignets only one time a year. And it's just such a fun hit. And we do king cake too. And I'll tell the king cake story soon. We looked at the front bar and um, I don't know if you can pull up the plans, but it looked like we had 13 feet, 13 feet, seven inches of space for the bar, according to yeah. Lane's plans. Does that sound right? Yeah, I had it at 12. Okay. Yeah, sorry, my computer is I was just, actually, I just redid, retook all the dimensions through the SketchUp to send Colby and I'm like trying to send this email and it's not. It froze on me, so let me try to find it because I have all the dimensions in that. Okay. Well, if you had 12, we'll just go with 12 probably. Or yeah, 12 and I had 12, and then let me look at this picture actually. Okay. Do you need like the separation of the tree slash the email also if he can use us okay. next week? Does that work for you guys? Do you guys want to be there for that? Um, um, I will try to be. I'm going to try to just like do this. Uh, Ethan might want to be okay if he'll let me just do it i'll just do it just so he can focus on other things but yeah um just for sure just let us both know in the thread for sure that's fine 
Okay, so I'm excited. I got that email sent. That's important. Big step. Talk to Bree. Um, she's our designer. She's getting going on like some custom furniture quotes because we need to start that right away. I have a couple, um, a couple meetings, and then we're gonna be good to go. And I'm just gonna have, yeah. There we go.